I'm Matt Piper. I'm the Propeller Head Product Specialist for Line 6. And I'm here at GearWire to show you Reason 5 and Record 1.5. So here is Reason 5. And right off the bat, you'll see the two new devices in Reason 5. Uh, the Kong Drum Designer here and Dr. Octorex. And if we scroll up to the top here, we'll see something new. There is now a sampling input in Reason 5. So the Kong drum designer, every channel of Redrum, and the samplers in NXT and NN19 all have live sampling inputs. And a couple of other things I'll just point out. This window is still the width of the rack. And this is the Reason Mixer. It's a 14-channel mixer. Uh, if you use more than 14 channels, you just make another mixer. And not to tease you, but I'm going to stop Reason 5 now. And launch Record. Since I've got Record and Reason both installed and authorized on this computer, when I use Record, all of the Reason instruments and devices will be available to me. It's a completely unified production environment. OK, now that I've got Record open, uh, the first thing that you'll notice is uh, a nice wide window, as wide as you like. And if I flip over to the mixer view, you'll notice that the mixer in Record is quite nice. It's an emulation of an SSL 9000K. And it doesn't just look like one, it sounds like one. They had one of those in Stockholm when they designed this, and uh, they tested and compared a signal uh, every point along the signal chain uh, between the emulation and the actual board, and came out with quite a nice sound, including an emulation of the master bus compressor, compression and gate on every channel, high pass, low pass filter on every channel, an emulation of the SSO EQ section on every channel, including uh, the constant Q mode, uh, switchable bell or shelving uh, on the low frequency and high frequency, frequency EQs, and uh, eight effects sends on every channel. And you never run out of channels because as you add more audio tracks, it just keeps adding more channels to the mixer. And there is no limitation on that. And if we look at the rack view, you'll see that each channel on the mixer uh, is represented by an audio track device in the rack. So you can make all of the audio connections that you need to make. And as a matter of fact, there are direct outs on every channel of the mixer. So if you need to connect to rewire outputs to get into individual channels in another DAW, you can do so without breaking the connection between the Reason instruments and the record mixer, so all of your mixer settings will be retained. Another really cool feature that you can enjoy when using Reason and Record together is that if you need to bounce, all you have to do is check all, or check whatever you want to bounce, and click OK, and you'll have a folder full of WAV files starting on bar 1. You can export a MIDI tempo track at the same time if you like. And you can choose what point in the signal chain you would like to bounce from with all your channel settings in the mixer or everything except the fader or none of the channel settings. And this particular demo song uh, I have chosen because it is 100% audio. There are no reason devices in this song, so it makes it a perfect candidate for showing off the time stretching algorithm that's built into record. I'm going to start kind of in the middle of the action here. What a day. I don't know where my feet would take me. I don't know where my feet would take me. I don't know where my feet would take me. What a day. I just know that nothing can break me. I just know that nothing can So I've just gone up 60 BPM. Yeah. Okay, I 
could sort of hear the artifacts a little at one BPM. But uh, within the range that you would normally uh, have to stretch anything after the fact, uh, it's a really clean algorithm and it's just that easy to use. If we recorded some guitar right now, all we would have to do to change the tempo is what I just did, change the tempo. And now, new for Record 1.5, you can, on Mac here, it's Alt, Drag on any clip and compress it or stretch it uh, as you like. Another thing that you can do in the Record Plus Reason environment that you cannot do with Reason all by itself is build your rack horizontally as far as you like as well as vertically which is nice not only for using all your available uh, screen real estate but it's also nice for organizing your racks if you want to have a drum rack, uh, an effects rack, uh, organize things like that. So now I want to show you probably the biggest uh, most exciting new feature in Record 1.5 and that is the Neptune Pitch Adjuster and Voice Synthesizer. And this demo song that I'm bringing up right now makes extensive use of that. And I'll just play a little bit of this here. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. So what you're hearing right now is just some yeah, gentle so correction so on the vocal. And some harmonies that are just played in on the keyboard. You can see uh, the MIDI here. So this Neptune device is set up so you can either snap to a scale, or if you play notes in on a keyboard, that'll override the scale, and the vocal will snap to those notes. Or you can play chords, and the voice synth will produce background harmonies, as it is right now. And you can get anything from transparent vocal pitch correction to total T-Pain share. And I'm just going to skip to the chorus section here. And you're going to hear some nice keyboard parts controlling the vocal. And then you're going to actually hear the arpeggiator controlling the vocal. I'm not skipping, this sounds too cool. This is the arpeggiator. It's about to be pressed to the service. So they've made this really good sounding, easy to use, and inspiring for creativity. And of course, you can use as many of these as you want in your project.